Austin is a technology epicenter thanks to a large university program and people have an interest in being in a town like this. So we have a large talent pool to draw from. Other big businesses are here trying to start their technology innovation centers here and we're happy to be part of it. We've built collaboration centers all across the globe. We have one in Dubai, Shanghai, Paris, and we just opened one up here in Austin, Texas. Collaboration centers are really designed to service the airlines in that region. So Dubai serving the Middle East, Paris, Europe. And they're made up of a community of designers and engineers and developers so that you can actually build software products there. We take a process of design that's focused on empathy and understanding. The first phase that we try to do is um, something called immersive research, or qualitative research. We spend as much time, in this case in airports, working with people uh, in aviation as possible. And our goal is twofold. One is to understand their jobs and their roles and their responsibilities. The other is really to empathize with them and to gain a feeling for what it's like to be them and to go to work and do the things they do on every single day. Predix is GE's operating system for the industrial internet. Simply, we're just connecting some of our largest assets, wind turbines, jet engines, power plants, to data and analytics and building software. It's a lot of learning. It's sitting down and listening, because as a passenger on an airline, you understand what you see. What you have to learn about is everything that's happening on in the background of these airlines to manage the operations. Different customers have different needs. Some customers are very well versed in you know, data analysis and other customers don't have the statistical or mathematical background. You know, our product needs to meet the needs of both types of customers. The most exciting thing about this collaboration process is we're not doing it alone. We're working with the customers every day trying to solve their toughest problems. If we continue this transformation with the airline industry, we're really going to revolutionize things over the next five to ten years.